what up you guys? It's Celazo. We're in my dorm room because the semester has started. So this is actually going to be tagged on to the beginning of my last page habit unboxing because before, or no, during, sorry, the semester I placed an order here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's Book Outlet. Yay! Ridiculously low prices. So... I'm gonna get tucked into this, um, like really far away, cause my desk is a little messy where I'm at school. So if you don't know what, can we all see me? Yay! So if you don't know what Book Outlet is, it is a service. It's it's kind of like Amazon just for books, except the books are like pretty much dirt cheap. Like they're even less than what you would pay in say Barnes and Noble or even on Amazon for like bargain copies of books and even like scratch and dent books which are basically like kind of worn down copies so with like minimal damage I don't know if I said that before so I'm going to tuck into this and I placed I think this is there's four books in here if I recall correctly I actually just got back from work which is where I was and this package was received last Friday of my school post office, so I'm trying to get it so that like you guys don't see my address. So it's like on my knee. It's not that I don't hate you. It's that I want to make sure that I'm not stalked at my school. So protection is key, guys. Protection is key. Come on. Oh my God, this box does not want. This box doesn't want to be opened. Okay, there we go. You like watching me struggle too. So, a little bit of a fiasco. I think if I check my email, then I'm sure I probably got an email about it. So, the box is open. Well, oh, I covered it. Haha, -ha, the box is open. I should have planned that better, I think. The glasses are falling off. Oh, all right. So, let's see what's in here. I'm gonna make a mess on my dorm room. Box open. <laughs> so, paper, recycle. More paper, recycle, oh my god, even more paper, recycle, obviously, get the invoice actually out of here so that I can tell you how many are in here, because I forget, <laughs> so, four books, and the total honestly came out to plus shipping 1836 minus shipping 1336. So like, it, it's really cheap, and like quite frankly, the books are pretty good quality. These are all like bargain copies, so they're not like they're basically not like imperfect. So yay! <laughs> not for records. And the first book I see is actually a teeny one. It's probably what was rolling around in there. Is Called If the Slipper Fits by Olivia Drake, author of Scandal of the Year. I read a few Olivia Drake books, I want to say. Yes, maybe. Yes, hold on, let me see. Did you show some of the other books? I feel like I did. Um, yes, I did. Um, I think I hauled them too, so you're probably going to have to go back into like past hauls to see, but this is meh. Oh, this is like literally on my lap, guys. This is kind of precarious. Ooh, I'm trying to make sure that y'all can hear. We good? Okay. So this book is first in a new series. It's basically Cinderella in England, I think. Maybe. Yes. And I got it mainly because of this cover. And then again, I read a few Olivia Drake books, I think. Like last semester as a freshman. But look at that. Look at that. Me Cinderella, guys. This is Cinderella, I swear. Um, but it's historical romance. And it's about a young girl named Annabelle Quinn who falls in love with Lord Simon Westbury. So cool. And there's... Apparently, Danger at Cornwall Estate, which is a real place, I want to say. So, yay. Good stuff. And, like, I and like I do this thing where I read... Where I... Ooh, that's my keys. 
where I read like a chapter of a book at night. I'm a little scatterbrained, guys. Again, I just got back from work on campus and I'm all over the place, so forgive me for that. So I'm gonna need a gusher to make myself feel better. <laughs> Y'all saw that, so at that point, I don't care. You're getting there on me, guys. Um, okay. So, and then, ah, this book I'll talk into. So this book, I'm gonna chew for it before I get to it. Um, here we go. All right. So this book is called Beautiful Secret by Christina Lauren. This is the fourth book in the Beautiful series. Which I have the first one, and I got it from Barnes and Noble actually fairly recently. I went with a friend, and we, and I basically kind of dragged him into Barnes and Noble, and I got Beautiful Bastard, which is the first book in this series by Christina Lauren, and Doctor Who Psychology, which is really cool, and I love Doctor Who, so it's like one of my first videos was about Doctor Who. And then I just love this cover. Like, look at that. So it's a romance. I think it's contemporary. I want to say it's contemporary. I do actually. I've never read a Christina Lauren book. This is depressing. Um, I have her book called Autobiography, or their book because it's it's two authors. I have their book Autobiography, which is on my shelf right now that I hauled. So, yay. And I wanted to try this just because I felt like it, so. And I love this cover. Look, look at that. So from what I gather, again, I've never read this series. I have the first one. This is about a girl named Ruby Miller who goes to New York. And she's from London. Yes? I want to say she's from London. Um... And she falls for her company's urban planner, Niall Stella. Like, okay. Um, and then, so Niall's from England, I think. Yes, yes, I don't know. And he is, so, like, whirlwind romance ensues, Niall's divorced, so that's fun. And they, okay, Nile is British, all right. And then Nile goes back to London and is their relationship going to stay? Kind of what I gather. So this is really cool. I, I like, love these covers. Like they're honestly, mm, fine. They're like just like one cover with like, you know, a, a gentleman in a suit. And they're really cool. And then the back is the skyline of... I nearly said New York. That is London. Because you have the Thames Bridge right here. So, yay. I've never been to London. I should go to London at some point. Or, no. No, I want to go to London at some point, actually. I'm going to phrase that. So that you all can't see my key. There we go. <laughs> I'm, like, really not trying to, like, be weird at all. I just don't want to be stocked at my college. So, because I'm in college. So, like that. It's an arm. So, again, my desk is really messy, so this is going to be fun. And then the, net, the last two books are actually books in a series. I'm going to get this right. Hold on a moment. This. Again, I don't edit these so that you guys can actually, like, see how I think and work. So, they're in order. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm trying to dance. Okay. So, let's put the box down. There we go. And these books are actually part of a companion series. I hauled uh, Breathe by the same author. And... Also, on the back of this. Awesome! Sweet. So... These are While It Lasts by Abby Glines and Just For Now by Abby Glines. I have on my shelf Breathe by Abby Glines, which I don't want to get down. That was the first Abby Glines book that I ever read. And they're contemporary romances and the part of a Sea Breeze, I think, companion series uh, where they're just like novels maybe set in the same like kind of 
shared universe. I can't exactly tell, but because I've only read one book, so I don't know. So I'm assuming that these are the same series. I, I want to say that these are the same series. Um, so this one, just book three in the Seabreeze novel series, which is what I will call it because it's really hard to say. I'm going to admit that. Is about a boy named Cage who has a DUI, who ends up working for um, Eva Brooks's father, I believe, and they fall in love. Be yeah, as you can tell from the cover, my hands on his clothes crotch. Hello. <laughs> This is what happens when, like, I'm really tired. I just get weird. So, okay. If we look at the back, this is the book that I read by her. This is this one. Then this one is the fourth one. So, yay. Book three down. Then the last one I showed you is this. This is the fourth one. I want to say it's the fourth one. Do you have the list of you in here? Please tell me you do. Do, 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 do. Oh, yes, you do. Yay! All right. So this is book four. Then I don't have book two. So if I find book two, yay! This is called Just For Now. And it's about a girl named Amanda, who's innocent, who has a crush on the bad boy. And they fall in love. Pretty much it. Uh, again, I never read this, so this is going to be fun. I do have a lot of books that I actually have to read. I'm right now reading a Page Habit book, which is ready for a while. So I'm reading this one, as you can see, bookmark. But I have like, literally a shelf full of books that I have read. And then a Complete Works of William Shakespeare book that I'm working my way through. And then more books <laughs> that I have to read. So I, I'm... I'm chewing. I will be working my way through them. I have, like, a crap ton of page topper books that I'll start free. So, yay. And then I may do, like, a giant, um, page habit review on all the books that I've read from Page Habit. Um, maybe at the end of the month, I want to say. We'll see how many I, I get through before I do it. But I've been talking too much. So, this will go at the beginning of my last page habit unboxing. I kind of enjoyed videos because I don't upload that often. Talk, talk as you eat, guys. Talk as you eat. And yeah, I will have reviews up for those page habit books at some point. So have a lovely day, my beautiful people. Someone wants to say, may all your bacon burn. We all love your bacon burn. <laughs> if you know who this is, I'm. I respect you. I respect you. So I'm really up close. So this is Tila Zo signing off. Enjoy the page happen unboxing. What up, you guys? It's Tila Zo. We're actually in my house again. I came home for the weekend. Uh, because of some family issues that I will not get into, but I have another one of these. Yay! I think this is a January box, I'm not entirely sure. But if you don't know what page habit is, I will actually leave a link to it in the description below. Because I tend to talk a lot and these videos get really long. I don't think people want to stand here for 27 minute videos. So, and I already opened it too, so. This is the romance box. Getting to the habit. I'm already in the habit of reading. I'm reading the September Page Habit book for the romance box, which is The Woman Who Couldn't Scream. So this is good. I will have a, a review up for this one and the one for August, which is the first one I got. I'm going to try to do Page Habit book um, video reviews in terms of two, because I went through a point where they let you add a book. So I did that and then I actually stopped. So uh, that's kind of what I'm going to do. But going to get into the box. This is the romance box. They, they have a lot of different ones. So it just all depends on what kind of book you want. So this so is what it looks like. It's 
get into it. This is, what are you? Okay, that's really cool. This is a signed book plate, I think. Not entirely sure, but it's autographed, so this is the first thing I saw. And then you get a nice little, oh my god. <laughs> what was that meant to happen? Um, a long, long note for the book in here. So that's fun. I'm loving this bookmark right now that I'm seeing right now. Okay. So in the box, you get like nice bookish good. There is crinkle crap going everywhere in my room right now. Filming in my room, everybody. The bookmark, which they always give you, looks like that. It's Harry Potter themed. I love Harry Potter. And the quote that's on it is, it's our, it, it is our choice. Choices that show who we truly are. Far more than our abilities from J.K. Rowling. So, it's Harry Potter. I love this, too. So, again, this is a romance box. I don't know what all these... Ooh, okay. So now we have these little, I think, Korean masks, I think. I don't entirely know. But they're avocado and cucumber masks. So... So what they look like. These probably have something to do with the book as well. I don't know what that is yet. So yay. Right there. A lot of crinkly crap here. Ooh. Alright. I'm happy. <laughs> I like goofing. So this is a fun little bookmark. I'm actually gonna open it so y'all can see better. Have more crinkle crap to form my own, I'm telling you. <sighs> All right, so, and again, I will try to make these videos a little shorter. So what it looks like, much of it you can see, it's like one of those like old fashioned bookmarks where you like slide it into the pages. So that's cool. And I also went to Target today too, so I may add that. And then we have in here some pencils, which are tree friendly pencils. It's a package. Looks like that inside, so it's like a little match thing. Oh, that's cool! So this thing right here, it just match. That's how you sharpen them. That's awesome. These are from my art class. These are from art class at school. Yay! Now we get into the card. So ah, so this is yes, this is January. So. That was cool. So this is one of the things that you get, and they went to, where did they go? Ghana, actually. They went to Ghana, and this box promotes literacy in underdeveloped nations, and like Africa, I, I think it's Africa? I don't know. But, so they have science fiction, horror, young adult, romance, mystery, fantasy, literary fiction, and historical fiction in the monthly box, which is what I have here. So... Yay! Yay! I'll read that. And the ginormous letter. Then you also get something called Immaculate Obsessions, which is like this little short story thing by something called what is that again? Great Jones Street Press. So this looks like it's football related, which is cool. Like football. Football. I don't know how much right you can see. Football. So that's awesome. And then one. So this book in here is the romance book. I've never actually read this. And this is huge. It's called Starlight Nights by Stacey Cade. So that book thing is probably an autograph plate to go into it. I'm not entirely sure. She, she probably explains it. But then another thing that they do is they do annotations in this book. So I'm actually going to... Um, so what I'm guessing here is it's okay. I'm gonna move the box here so I can sit properly. So this book is about a young girl named Callista who goes who was on a TV show named Starlight and she goes to college and um she and she 
falled in love with a guy named Eric Stone on Starlight because she was his first kiss and blah, blah, blah. And unrequited love in the movie business, I'm assuming? Yes? That's what I'm guessing because it's like fame and whatever. Um, but yeah, so in like every book that Page Habit does for any genre that you get, you get these little like annotation things. This is huge. How many pages is it? Ah! It's 400 pages. Just wow. That is insane. Okay. Okay. Without the, um, the, what is it? Um, acknowledgements, which make it 400. It's 398, I think. Unless this is a completely different book. Hold on. Nope. Same book. Okay. This book, and they get little annotations. So that was this month's box again. Um, whoa. I will have to read the letter that comes with it, because that's a lot of writing. And then I went to Target. So this is probably going to be shorter than some of my other ones. Uh, we'll see. And I got two things, actually, from Target. One is this, which is about the Day of the Dead. And this guy right here, I'm pointing actually by Diego Luna. So if you've seen, uh, what is it? Uh, Rogue One, Star Wars Story. I should know this. I'm a Star Wars nerd. Then that's the voice of this guy. This one's always Saldana, I think. And it's basically about a young man whose name is, his name is Manolo. I'm trying to get it into frame here. Who falls in love with this late, oh, Jesus Christ. So this guy right here falls in love with this girl right here. And yeah, so it's animated and it's amazing. The songs in it are so good. I love it. Yay. And the other thing I got is something called Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which is being made into a movie called Love, Simon. Or, or I think it's already made into a movie. That's what it looks like. I've never read it, but it's about a young boy named Simon Spear, <laughs> who's 16 and a junior in high school. And he's in the closet, but one of his emails gets read by this guy called Martin, who is basically threatening to expose him as, as part of the LGBTQ plus community if he does not become his friend. And I think there's some unrequited love in there that may turn into requited. I don't know. But I've never read it. It's being made into a movie. So let's get on that. <laughs> and let's read it. So, And this is being called by Teen Vogue, The Love Child of John Green and Rainbow Rowell. And I did read Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which is a... Yeah, it's 20% sticker off here. Um, which is a story about wizards in the LGBTQ plus community, which I find intriguing. Because I've never read a Rainbow Rowell book, and that book is actually pretty good too. So, yeah, I'm excited to dive into this. This will honestly have to be read at some point. So that's what the cover looks like. I This is the only kind that they had with this little sticker thing. I don't know if you can see it, but that one, that's the movie. So, yeah, and I love this cover though. Like, I like how his head is like a speech bubble, because of my thoughts or something, I don't know. But this probably fits into it. So it's going to be fun. And then I love this. I'm going to actually take it out of its thing. This is what the DVD looks like. So I have a Blu-ray player on um, at my college. So I figured i get the Blu-ray version. And then this is the back of it. I may actually watch it tonight before I go to bed. Probably not. No, we'll see. We shall see. But yeah, so that was the haul. Again, I didn't explain the page habit box that well. And I know I didn't. So, um, again, I will link to it in the about. Or I will link to it um, down in the description box so you can read it. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button uh, to let me know. And hit the subscribe button while you are down there and ding dong the notification bell so that you know when I send a video to your faces so you can watch. I have a wrapper in here in my hand. Um, I will have page habit review out for some of the books that I have read so far. I've only read two of them. So I will have those out eventually for your faces to see. And again, I will try to do them in rounds of two. If I get like one in there, then that's fine. Um... And yeah, I don't have Cal over here with me, but he says, may all your bacon burn. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Tila Zoe signing off until then. Bye.